Okay, so today we're doing stuffed bell peppers. So you're gonna need, of course, bell peppers. These are nice sized bell peppers. See, I'm doing about five of them today. Uh, we need some shrimp, peeled and deveined. I only have about one pound, come on, give them a few peppers. I we need some ground meat. I use ground turkey, but you can use whatever ground meat you want or ground turkey. Also gonna need some chopped onions, about a half an onion. Also chopped celery, about two or three stalks. And some minced or chopped garlic. It's okay if you get the garlic in the can. Also, you need some chicken broth. I use chicken broth because I'm doing ground turkey. If you're doing ground beef, use beef broth. Or if you don't have any broth, use water. And some breadcrumbs. You can use Italian breadcrumbs, but you have to use less seasoning because they're all seasoned already. Okay, so first we're gonna cut our peppers. Now, what I do is I like to chop the tops off my peppers. That way I can have a nice big stuff pepper. Now I cut a little bit off the bottom so you can so you can stand still. Now I'll slice the top off and then go in a circular motion inside of the pepper and get off the end the guts I should say. And just pull it out and pull out the excess pour some inside and clean up give don't forget to give it a good rinse off for stuffing. Oh yeah. And I save my tops just because they are edible. Once you clean them off and cut the, the top parts, clean them off and rinse them off, they're still edible. And they look good, like a nice little decorating pepper once you do it. There we go. So I'm going to do four of this today. Okay, once you get some oil in your pan and your oil is hot, you want to go ahead and add your onions. And add, after that, you're going to add your celery. I don't add peppers because we are actually using a pepper. So you're gonna get the flavor from the pepper from the actual bell pepper. So you're gonna saute that for about two or three minutes until it's nice and sweated. And then you're gonna go ahead and add your chopped or minced garlic. So once you're done with that, you're gonna go ahead and add your garlic and saute for another two or three minutes. So once it's all translucent, how you like it look, you're going to add your ground meat, or in my case, ground turkey. Um, now, mine doesn't have a lot of fat in it, so I'm about to add some more oil into the pan. So, add that in there. And what I like to do is, before um, it browns all the way, I like to add a little seasoning in the beginning. So that way it has seasoning all the way through the meat, not just on top of the meat. So, you can add the seasoning you like. I use a little kosher salt cayenne pepper all in there then I'm going to add some garlic powder yeah, sprinkle it in there then after that it's some onion powder as well that's going to give it some great depth and flavor in there so you want to stir that up mix your dry spice seasonings with your with your actual seasonings so mix it on up together very very well get it blended well then let it cook let it brown once it's browned and how you like it, you don't chop up the little pieces as you can, the small chunks. And then, since after you're using ground beef, you want to strain it and get the grease out of there. And I put some grease in here because I use ground turkey, which has less fat, so I need more grease. So I still have to drain the grease out. So once your grease is grained, everything is done, give it a nice little stir. Then you want to add, if you're using ground beef, beef broth. But so I'm using ground turkey, I'm going to use some chicken broth. So you want to cover the meat up with the chicken broth or the beef broth. Basically, you want to cover the top of the meat. So you want everything to rise to the top of the meat. And you're going to boil that until the, the liquid boils down. And what that's going to do is it's going to make your, your ground meat or ground turkey very soft. So I'm going to go stir. Yeah, that's going to be wonderful. So, so you're going to let that go, let it cook, let it boil down. Now, once it's all boiled down, give it a good stir, or most of the water is gone, then you're going to add my favorite, <laughs> favorite menu, things to add, which is shrimp and crab meat. Now, normally I use lump crab meat, but out here in California, it's kind of hard to find. So I use the claw meat, which is still good. Yeah, so I put that right on in there. And that's going to cook real fast. Shrimp, seafood, shellfish cooks extremely fast. So let's give it a good stir and the flavor will soak in. 
So now that your shrimp is cooked and your crab is broken up and cooked well, you're gonna add your breadcrumbs. Now what the breadcrumbs are gonna do is it's gonna give that that consistency that you're looking for that you can it can hold together. It's gonna combine it. So let's make it more um like I said, patty like I wanna say. So it's gonna stick together and combine as one. So you wanna add your breadcrumbs in there and give it a nice little stir until you get the consistency you like you're looking for, which is basically you want it to hold on to your fork or hold on to your spoon. Your cooking spoon, I should say. Give it a good stir. Now also it's the time you should be tasting, tasting your um, your dressing and seeing how it's like your stuffing and seeing how if you like it or not. If you need more seasoning or more, you know, more uh, salt, pepper, whatever you're using. Because you can use any kind of season you want, like I'm saying. Normally, I also put crab brawl, liquid crab brawl in mine. But, like, once again, in California, it's kind of hard to find. Okay, so, I'm going to go ahead and give it a taste. Okay, it's kind of holding on to my fork a little bit, but I'm going to add a little more breadcrumbs to it. I'm going to give it a little taste. Let me see if I like it. And I'm going to need a little more seasoning in here. But it's almost there. So, I'm going to add some more breadcrumbs. Not too much. There we go. That should be enough. And then we're also going to go ahead and add our seasons, some garlic powder. Some cayenne pepper. And a little bit of salt. And that should, that should do it. Give it a nice stir. And see if it's consistent. I like. Okay, see now it's getting thicker as I'm turning. As I'm turning, it's getting harder to turn because it's getting it's starting to combine and get come together. So yeah, there we go. And it's always at their head smell of vision. Oh, oh, it smells so good, making one smack your mama. Mm, mm. Okay, it's sticking this one like I like it. Let's go ahead, go ahead and stuff our peppers. All right. And you're gonna get a little small spoon. You could use a big spoon, but it might be a little more messy. So now I didn't cut my shrimp up because I'm only doing some, I'm doing only four or five peppers. I believe it's only got four peppers in there, so I don't need to cut it up. Normally, I, if I'm doing, doing a whole bunch of peppers, I cut it up, cut the shrimps up in half, and put them in there. So you're just gonna stuff your, your dressing inside and compact it. Yeah. So now remember, these are your peppers. So unless you're doing it for a party or a dinner, if it's just for you, stuff them how you like it. You want to overstuff your peppers, overstuff your peppers. If you want to take your pepper and throw it in the pot and roll around, then stuff it, do that. It's yours. Look at that. Yeah, wonderful. Wonderful. All right. And I still have dressing left over. Now, I don't, some people boil their peppers before they stuff them. I don't because you lose the flavor that way. I just put a little water in the pan before I bake them. That water is that water is going to go help and uh, let steam the peppers. And you want to sprinkle some breadcrumbs on top of your peppers, just for decoration. And a little parsley flakes because it looks good. <laughs> you don't have to, you don't have to put parsley flakes, but I suggest you do breadcrumbs. It just looks better that way. Put in the oven at 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes. Remember to cover your peppers. I'm gonna put the tops in here it's because the tops is to me just look like a nice little, nice little button top pepper. You know, those are like a little fancy. So once you got them in there, make sure you guys put a little bit of water in the bottom of the pan, covering it up, aluminum foil, and put in the oven. And it, that's what it's gonna do is gonna help keep that that water in there, steam and steam and cook them peppers, make them real soft. Once you put them in the oven for 20, 25 minutes, you go and take the aluminum foil off and put it back in for another five to 10 minutes so the top, the top of the peppers can brown. And baby, and I'll tell you these peppers look awesome. Come on now, stuffed bell peppers. If you like what you see, like and subscribe. Thank y'all for watching.